Next Move Group, the voice of economic development. Here is Chad Chancellor. Hello and welcome to this week's YouTube Economic Development Newscast, the voice of economic development with Next Move Group. I'm Chad Chancellor, co-founder of Next Move Group, and what a tremendous time it is to be a Mississippi State sports fan, to be an alumni of Mississippi State University. Not only did we win the College Baseball World Series a few months ago, we've started the season 2-0 and in football yesterday. We totally dominated NC State. This team was picked to be the number two team in their division in the ACC. We dominated them. It was complete domination. Special teams, offense, defense, that's what's so elating about this. Mike Leach has got us headed in the right direction. We played all facets of the game well. We ran the opening kick back 100 yards for a touchdown. Our defense dominated NC State. We swarmed them all night. They couldn't do anything. Our offense possessed the ball with little five and six yard passes. It was like watching a great running team, except these were short passes. We are on the right track. What a tremendous time to be a Mississippi State fan. I think we ended up with 300 yards passing. You know, all days Mississippi State, we never did that. Who cares how we win as long as we win? So I'm mean, elated. Next week we play Memphis. We can beat them. Then we play LSU. We can beat them. Things are looking up. So what a tremendous time. This is the best time ever to be a Mississippi State fan. And to come off our national championship baseball and now get some momentum in football, man, 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 bring on the Memphis Tigers Saturday. Let's go up to the Liberty Bowl and go 3-0. and You probably can see I am back in New Orleans. Thanks to all of you for checking on us during Hurricane Ida. So I'm back in New Orleans in my apartment building. And uh, it suffered some water damage on the other side of the building. The way the wind blew, I guess, the other side had some water come through the windows. My unit is totally fine, thank goodness. And so uh, back here, internet's working, uh, electric's working. So Orleans Parish is pretty much totally back on as far as electric is concerned. And so now the real worry is where that hurricane came ashore. We have tremendous friends in Lafouche Parish, uh, good friends down there. We've done the search down there. Terrebonne Parish, uh, where this thing came ashore, all the way up through St. Charles, St. John the Baptist. Uh, those areas still are only like 5% of their power is back where that hurricane came in. So at this point in time, keep those places in your thoughts and prayers. Keep those places in your thoughts and prayers. New Orleans seems to be fine. We're still dealing with the fuel shortages, the little things. But the power's back on, the internet's back on, our team's back in place. And so uh, we're ready to continue our growth and get past this Hurricane Ida. But for sure, for sure, keep the people west of us from Golden Meadow to uh, Port Fouchon down there, all the way up through Homa, all the way up through Laplace and further north that was in the eye wall of that thing. Keep them in your thoughts and prayers because this is going to be a tremendously long recovery for them, tremendously long. So this week we are starting our eighth year. This is seven years we've been in business. We started right after Labor Day in uh, September of 2014. So we're now starting our eighth year in business Thanks to all of y'all. We've now had between four and 500 customers. I would have to go count to come up with an official total, but somewhere between four and 500 customers across the country. I think we counted up 40 something states plus uh, several different uh, clients from international. So thanks to you all. Uh, going to be a lot of changes come up in year eight for us. We're having discussions right now. Going to be some big announcements coming soon. So stay tuned, but uh, we've got a plan to keep growing this thing. And thanks to all of you. Seven years goes by fast. Seems like yesterday we just started and had our first client. And so uh, I literally can remember every little step along the way. And as we start year eight, I uh, just want to say thank you to all of you for uh, all the word of mouth marketing you've done for us, for all of the clients we've had. We appreciate it more than you'll ever know. For this week's product of the month, you know, it's funny we're starting year eight because now we got seven years experience doing executive searches. So for this for this month's product of the month, we are actually bungling together all of our career videos. I think there's 11 of them that we have within the movement. We have videos on how to write your resume, how to interview or mistakes to avoid. We have one on how to avoid mistakes once you're off for the job. One of our movement members last week went to dinner with me and he said, Chad, I've watched that video 24 times. It helped me just that much. We've got how to negotiate your salary, how to do all this stuff. We put those together within the movement. Well, what we're doing in September in honor for Labor Day is offering all those videos together for much, much cheaper than you'd be able to get them on your own. And now we have done, I don't know how many executive searches we've done them over the last seven years. Actually, this week on our movement, one of our shows is going to be on all the mistakes that we see committees make as they're doing searches, you know, some of the things, lessons learned. But anyway, these videos can help you get your next job, double your pay. My story is I was making $42,000 in Mobile, Alabama. 
Two years later, I made 100000 in Lawrenceburg, Tennessee. Three years after that, I made over two hundred in Paducah, Kentucky. And time I left, I was making two fifty. If you want to go from forty to two fifty, I did it. I did it. Flat out did it. I did it. And I guess five years, I'd have to sit and think. Two in Lawrenceburg, two uh, six years, because it took me a year or two in Paducah to get it up to there. You can do it. We will show you within this thing how to do it. Even if you can't get there, maybe you double your pay currently. It takes a different mindset than you might think. And that's what these videos are teach you. So if you're interested in that, uh, you want to buy those this month, they're going to be cheaper now than ever. Cheapest way is just join the movement. You can cancel within a month, and it'll be cheaper that way, but it'll be up to you. We'll be launching a search in Kansas here this week or next week. That one's coming. You all probably saw our Plan View Texas search that we're currently doing. So those are two on the market and got several other proposals out. So uh, the Kansas one will be coming soon. Going to be a really good job. Be on the lookout for that. And as we wind down my section, a quick update on the weight loss. I'm down to 211 pounds. Many of you have been asking me. Several of you after the podcast reached out and started doing it. And I've got a friend in Texas. He's down 15 pounds. My friend in Alabama has come from 220 to he's in the 180s now. Uh, he was never really heavy all his life till recently, so that weight came off of him fast. But I'm now at 211. It's going slowly for me now. Uh, honestly, I think that's because I hadn't been as strict on it as I've been. I ate a piece of cake for my mother's birthday, for example. I had a tiramisu the other night. So I'm coming up of it slowly, uh, but I'm still losing the weight. I think the last time up there, y'all, I was 215. Now I'm 211. Because I'm trying to reintroduce once in a while things I enjoy. I'm not going to do it forever. And I want to see that trend keep going down. So I'm going to keep seeing that. I'm, I want to get to 205. But if it's took me two months to lose four pounds. So to lose six more may take me another two months. So maybe by the end of the year, if I can get to 205 or 200, that's fine. And once in a while, have something that may not be keto. But, but I am at 211 now, for those of you who ask. My friend Ray Method in Tennessee is on the keto diet as well. I texted him the other day. He said he was 211. We weighed the same thing the same day. <laughs> and so that was interesting. I'm happy for his success. We're probably going to do a show with he and I since we weighed the same thing the same day, one of these days, to go over our, our keto successes. Our golf tip of the week comes from Phil Mickelson, who, of course, won the PGA Championship, one of my favorite golfers of all time. Won the PGA at 50 years old. Absolutely unbelievable story a few weeks ago. This is his tip. He says if you're ever in between clubs, in the fairway and you don't know what one to pick always go long he says always go long because most amateurs hardly ever go over the green they always leave their ball short of the green if they hit it bad they always leave it short of the green so he says for amateurs always go long if you're between because chances are you may not hit it exactly perfectly if you don't it's going to come up good if you go long you're still going to be on the green so that's when you're between you know unless obviously there's a lake long and not short on an average hole if you're ever between the hole, between clubs, pick the long one. You'd rather go long than short, he says. In most occasions, you're going to end up turning out better. Due to various demands on time and resources, economic development and trade and export agencies often struggle to complete effective market research and business outreach campaigns. For the past 10 plus years, Research FDI, along with our affiliated consulting groups at Research B2B and FDI 365, have leveraged our in-house knowledge, resources, and expertise in market research and consulting to help over 250 organizations directly facilitate inward investment attraction and new trade and export opportunities for their regions across a wide variety of industry sectors. Our highly personalized services and best cost to quality ratio in the industry ensures our client satisfaction, leading to repeat customers year after year. What are you waiting for? Leave the market research and business outreach to the expert team at Research FDI. To learn more about our services, contact us today.